Yeah, we're good. What's up, guys and girls? I'm Jelani from FightingWombat.com, and this is ATG number 10. If you haven't noticed, we missed an entire week Thanksgiving break. We had lots of turkey. Or if you're Steven, you punched a lot of turkey. See what I did there? Damn. ADG number five. Be. <laughs> ADG number five. BFG edition. <clears throat> but just because we took a break does not mean the game industry took a break. So let's get right back to it, shall we? We missed pe past two weeks. So we'll be covering those past two weeks. First off, <clears throat> Hitman came out last week. But that will be the game. Hitman Absolution, I mean. Came out last week, but that will be the game of the week this week. Epic Mickey 2, the power of 2. Family Guy, back to the multiverse. What? Sonic and All-Stars, Racing Transformed. I mean, I never got these, um, Sonic now? Racing games. Wouldn't Sonic just always win? <laughs> yeah, that no, Shadow. Tails! Shadow's, Shadow's actually faster than Sonic. Oh, that's because he has skates. Rise of the Guardians. Free arcade, there was The Walking Dead, Episode 5, No Time Left, Iron Sky Invasion, oh. for, and for the DLC, there was Pinball, FX, 2 Civil War, Marvel Invasions. That's what I like about my DLCs, freaking long titles. Also for Borderlands 2, Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage. Still get to play that. I still haven't beat Captain Scarlet's and her... Pirate's booty. Alright, here's something else you haven't beat, I guarantee you. Spartan Ops Episode 3 and 4 came out during the past two weeks. I haven't even beat one. Dude. And this so week, the only real release was the DLC for Mass Effect 3 Omega DLC. Yeah. Oh, lack of game releases. Oh, there's something else that I forgot to um, do. The Wii U launched. So it will launch with a whole plethora of games like... The Mario HD version of it, I forgot what it was called. And Zombie U. I heard that was actually kind of fun. Assassin's Creed 3 is actually on the Wii U too. Really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. That's it for game releases for this episode. Next week will probably be the last big game. Depends on what you mean by big game. is Far Cry 3. And then I have no clue what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the game release portion. It's probably going to be reporting on the one or two. DLCs that come out that week, so I'm going to have to find some way to vamp and fill up time, like I'm doing right now. Alright, that's it for game releases. Andrew with the news. Alright, we hope you guys had a lovely Thanksgiving break. We know we did. Johnny didn't say that. I said during the Let's Play. Did you really? Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I, I guess. That. Anyways, happy Thanksgiving, guys. We know we didn't have anything last week, but we have... Spent that time creating more content for you guys. Alright. So this week, Bioshock Infinite has been stated that it will have no multiplayer. It'll be a full single-player game, such as the original Bioshock. Disappointed to some people. I, I, I never played Bioshock, so... Um, last week, Activision took down Nuketown uh, 2025 map and played with some Black Ops 2 multiplayer games. But caused such an uproar that they put it back into multi player but without its own dedicated playlist I never I have never seen the map I thought it was a zombie map but I guess not there's there's stats for it for zombies but I don't know um the Wii the Wii Mini I, I didn't mess up that's Wii Mini there's a <laughs> the Wii Mini was confirmed by Nintendo after being leaked and will be a Canada exclusive through the holiday season for $99.99. So, like $118. No word if it would be available in other territories. I don't, I've never even heard of this thing. Uh, speaking of leaks, remember Bungie? Well, you know, the company that made Halo once upon a time. Concept art of their new game, Destiny, was leaked, and shortly after, Bungie released some official images. There was also a leak of Halo 4's Crimson Map Pack, and turns out it was true. And 343 has released a trailer for it, scheduled to release on December 10th. Um, Halo 4's dominance of the Xbox Live was short-lived. And by short-lived, we mean a week. Black Ops 2 toppled it. Like, brutally destroyed its statistics. And is the number one spot on Xbox Live gamers. You know what number three is? That's number three. Minecraft! Eh, that's, that's a given. <laughs> Um, oh, hey, um, we love all you new 360 gamers out there. Um, over Black Friday, 750 
thousand Xbox 360s were sold all across America. Holy crap, that's a lot of Xboxes. <laughs> alright, alright, so our game review for this week is Hitman Absolution. After thousands of problems with me and Jelani trying to play this game, finally played, put it in an Xbox today and started playing it. I'm going to say, it's fun to play. Some of the game mecha mechanics don't make sense, how I can go through and murder every civilian in a level, still make it through the level alive and not have any problems. And get like seven achievements for it. Not sure how that happened, but the game is definitely fun. It does have a challenge. That's why I kind of went through, killed all the civilians because I just wanted to get through the level and see the next level. Um, but all Hitman games have always been challenging. It's part of the biggest thing about the Hitman games. Um, like in the other, the old, the old, the old, the old, the old, the old. we just can't talk on these, can we? <laughs> um, like in most Hitman games, all the Hitman games, you have different options to how you want to kill your target. Um, you can, what is it, the second level? You get to, you can poison the guy, you can snipe him and his business partner, you can blow up his car, you can drop him down some hole to nowhere. Um, what else can you do? There's something else. Anyways, go play the game and find out. Um, the level design's really creative, and there's like 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 stages per the level. Like each level has its own stages. You have to work your way through and like find a key card, turn off the security, grab a disguise, all the all the hitman stuff. It's quite fun, challenging at times, of course. Um, the enemies have a lot of guns, so if you're trying to go ninja, be very very ninja. Don't don't get spotted ever. Um, I definitely say it's a buy it. Hopefully yours doesn't have problems like my Xbox did, because. We put the game into my Xbox, it didn't work. Put it into Jelani's, it worked. Put it into my dad's, it worked. Just my Xbox just didn't have it. And Jelani didn't really feel like playing it after beating Assassin's Creed 3 because he couldn't go from one Assassin game to another Assassin game because he said it can't compete. But honestly, I've never been an Assassin's Creed fan. I've always been a Hitman fan. So I say it's a buy it. But go play it and find out for yourself. Buy it, though. All right, a bit of homework for, uh, for some viewers. Go watch our Let's Play Zombies. Black Ops 2 Zombies. There'll be more coming out. Not on just survival mode. Transit was a lot more entertaining. I like survival. I don't like survival. I like transit. What's transit? I'll have to show you. Um, but that's it with this week's ATG. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I really hope they could hear that.